I hope everyone's doing well and welcome to the video. Um, it's approximately eight o'clock this morning. I'm on the run with uh, Loki. Loki, say hi, buddy. Yeah, that's just hi. Um, this video, I want to talk to you about you know my goals for this year um, and for hope maybe next year as well. My fitness goals. Um, there's kind of three things I want to do um, in the fitness world that I've always wanted to do. So we're gonna talk about those soon. I'll go. I'm gonna prep for those. Got to finish this run. The run is finished. We got about six and a half miles in. We were running on a trail. And there was like a herd of like kids coming. I guess they were like a cross country team. Oh, it was, it was like 30 of them. Let them pass. We waited for like five, 10 minutes, me and Loki. And then knowing Loki, he wanted to beat all of them. So we ended up like running on a trail and picking up speed and past most of them. So that was that, but the run is finished. So my goals this year goal number one fitness wise is i always wanted to run a half marathon or marathon and based on if you follow my instagram page or you follow you know the runs that i've done so far i can do a half marathon without any issues um besides the time i didn't bring water so but other than that i think my goal this year is to run a full marathon and I kind of started back running in March. Um, I was a runner all through high school. Um, I ran cross country. I ran just for fun. I ran to train for basketball. So the one thing about running, picking up endurance is easy. Um, you just gotta keep doing it. You eventually get used to it. Every week you can see your endurance change. The big thing is picking up speed. So I have to change up some of my running workouts and introduce some sprint workouts, some 800 meter sprints, some 400 meter sprints, and work those in, and also time miles. So I have to work those in to my workout schedule. But um, you know, my goal here, if it's still available at some point, run the uh, the Pittsburgh Marathon, and then if not, find another state that they have the marathon you know, going on where people can actually run and do that. That's uh, goal number one. Um, I know like right now it may affect my weight training because I'm fluctuating, sorry, fluctuating in weight so much. Like when I first started running in March, I was around, let's see what, two, about 205. And now since March, I, I can barely break 188. So I've been fluctuating between 188 and like 190 in a given week based on how much water I, I drank that day or how much um, food I had before I jumped on the scale. But that's my consistent, um, my consistent weight right now. So I'm guessing for me to have a, a solid marathon time, like, you know, it's my first time running. If I get done in four hours, I'll be happy. Um, Nice to get, nice to get three, but still being a new fresh runner, um, let's not overdo it. But um, yeah, that's goal number one. I can't wait to you know see how my body transforms and see how my strength, if my strength changes. Because so far I've been lucky that nothing's changed strength-wise. So we have to uh, keep that monitored and see how I feel. But. You know, that's goal number one, and I can't wait, can't wait to get that done and have you guys along the entire time. Um, if, if I'm lucky, hopefully my fiance can get some of this stuff on film and we can, you know, make a video about it at the time when I do do it. But also, I'll keep you updated on training as well. But now, since I finished my run, I'm going to go lift some weights. And you guys will see my weight circuit today and I'll go and talk about goal number two. We'll see you guys soon.
welcome back to the video um we just finished a full body workout it was great i felt awesome um we did we hit chest back legs shoulders arms everything i definitely post the exercises sets and reps below um but i want to talk to you about goal number two and goal number two is something i'm really excited about um as a kid i used to watch the firefighter fitness challenge with my dad it was on espn and i know one of my dad's friends competing in it competed in it in the past um and now that I am, you know, a first responder, I always want to pay homage to some of my first responder, responder people. And what makes it the challenge cool is the fact that you're in full gear doing a lot of the physical things that other firefighters do. And it's a timed event. So this is something where I can do that. My combination of athleticism, strength and speed and endurance can all play, play in a part of this. So I'm really excited about that. But um, the reason I kind of want to want to do that goal, the main reason is. I want to figure out a way to raise money for some of the fire departments that I, used to, that I volunteer at, um, Swickley, uh, North Fayette, um, in in Robinson. I would love to, you know, you know, help those guys out and also raise money to, you know, hopefully get gems, you know, for those departments as well. So that's kind of my goal moving forward. Um, now, what the challenge consists of, which is really cool, it, it's uh, it's not, you know. It's not the NFL combine. It's not anything like that, but it's, it's a lot of stuff. Everything you do is on air and in full gear. So, you know, full gear on air, running up, you know, flights of stairs, hoisting ropes, running down, um, you know, pulling um, a charge line, squirting, uh, body drag, the Kaiser sled, all like all this cool, badass stuff that like any person would like to do. So it would be a, a very cool test to, you know, test, you know, my, my fitness, my endurance level and also my strength during a certain amount of time so to see where i'm at and the reason that another reason i want to do that is that's a competition where it shows who the best athletes are and you know me being an athlete all you know, all my life and all through high school i kind of missed that athletic competition so this is like my second chance you can say at me you know being able to compete in that level so that's goal number two now, training for that would consist of a lot of functional training, a lot of stuff, weighted, um, wearing my weighted vest, wearing bunker gear, doing workouts, hitting the tire, the kettlebell swings, the sprints, the agility. So it would be a good combination of my running and my functional fitness, how that kind of plays in part with this one. Now, when I need to lose weight for this, you know, to, to perform my best, I don't think so. I think I can stay at the weight I'm at right now, right? potentially even, you know, if I need to lose weight while I'm training for the marathon, um, you know, definitely that too. But I plan to do that sometime around next year. I'll keep you guys updated on my date. But that is for us right now. That's goal number two. And like I said, I'll keep you guys along the whole time when it comes to training and the whole aspect of that. I definitely, you know, want to see how my body transforms. I want to see if I get faster, see how I get stronger while I'm training for that. But I'll keep you guys informed on that. But that's goal number two. But um, before I get to goal number three, I've been fasting for a while. I need to eat, get some food. You know, after I get my food, I'll keep you guys updated on that. I'll see you guys soon. Back to the video. Um, we had a you know nice long day. For lunch, had a protein shake, did the pool, little chilling afterwards, relax after you know a nice long work week and a long you know week of working out. The the running, the lifting weights. Sometimes you gotta take time to enjoy yourself. We also are up uh, upgrading our filming game. We got a tripod and also a connector for the cell phone as well. Um, I'm really excited to have this stuff part of the video. Super excited to have this part. Um, yeah, so may hopefully make the videos a little better, but uh, goal number three is a goal that I am very interested in doing and seeing how much this is gonna test me. So I had a conversation with one of my buddies around December time. He was talking about, you know, since you're doing all this running and lifting and you know this all this stuff you do fitness wise how about you do a you know a kind of triathlon i'm like that's I, that's kind of that's a hefty order i've never even thought about doing something like that but it occurred to me like why not you know i'm already doing the swimming the, sw the running i gotta you know add some swing and add some biking and so make me more diverse of an athlete so why not try the whole point of it is supposed to be difficult so it's kind of what like draw me to it and i was a kid i used to watch that stuff all the time you know it was kind of the, the the obscure channel on ESPN or NBC in the morning they had a triathlon events and I just want to test my endurance levels and see how I fare you know how I fare up against other swimmers and bikers and runners so I think this won't be the most physically demanding and I can't wait to see how my body changes 
you know, from going to the marathon training, to the fire, fire fitness training, to the triathlon training. I'm actually really excited and I'm really excited to have you guys on this journey with me. Um, I want you guys to keep me motivated as well. I mean, if I'm slack and I'm not, you know, feeling motivated or if I'm not willing to, you know, keep you guys updated on, on how I'm doing or even if I, you know, for, didn't accomplish one of, at least one of these goals this year, I would love for you guys, you know, comment and, you know, keep me on my A game. You know, I'm kind of, I want to work with you guys, the same guy you guys want to work with me. But uh, I'm super excited uh, about this one. Really excited. But yeah, those are pretty much my, you know, three goals for this year fitness-wise or next one or two years fitness-wise. The the marathon, the fire, fire fitness challenge and triathlon. And I want to keep you guys, like I said, keep you guys on the same path with me and keep you guys, you know, updated on how it goes. Um, you know, but that's pretty much in the video. I have nothing else to you know, talk about, talk about, you know, other than that, but you know, it's Saturday night. I'm going to enjoy some burgers and fries with my fiance, possibly go to the drive-in afterwards. Um, you know, can't wait for that. But uh, until the next time, you know, hope to see you guys in the next video. In the words of my boy, Cameron Haynes, keep hammering. See you guys soon. Take care.